are major changes to Sri Lanka's political landscape as the country reels from an economic crisis and unrest. Our Prime Minister Ronald Wickremesinghe has been sworn in as the country's acting president after Gotabaya Rajapaksa officially resigned. A new president is expected to be elected next Wednesday. Mr Wickremesinghe says he will establish law and order and follow the constitutional process. He has asked Parliament to agree on the formation of a new unity government. The former Prime Minister is currently the ruling party's chop choice for the job. But protesters want Mr Wickremesinghe out as they blame him for allowing Mr Rajapaksa to flee the country. <laughs> On speaking after being sworn in, Mr Wickremesinghe called on politicians to cast aside their ambitions and protect the country. He says immediate measures will be enforced to maintain peace, but non-violent protests are allowed. He also abolished the presidential flag, believing the nation must rally behind only the Sri Lankan flag. Sri Lanka's parliament accepted Gotabaya Rajapaksa's resignation earlier today. Mr Rajapaksa landed in Singapore last night after leaving the Maldives. He tendered his resignation to parliament by email. Protesters see Mr Rajapaksa's ousting as a major win as they have been calling for him to step down for months. Crowds have been celebrating on the streets. Many gathered at the presidential office where mass protests took place just last week. We feel that uh, when we when the people come together, we can do everything. We, we are we are the real power in this country. So this is really something uh, amazing. The fact that it happened on the back of uh, largely peaceful protest that just happened not in Colombo but across the country, and so in that sense, uh, this is really an amazing moment. For more, Prasad Kaushalya Dodin Godaga joins us live from Colombo. He said of English and foreign news at Sri Lanka's national broadcaster. Oh, Mr. Prasad, a new leader expected to be appointed by next week. Will a parliament elect a new president? How will they do this? Yes, uh, now uh, we saw uh, a couple of last weeks, we saw the protest campaign moves gathering moment, getting more uh, momentum. And now what happened, we can see the political process is now getting prominent and getting more vibrant in the Sri Lankan uh, political and social arena. Now, all eyes are uh, uh, lean towards the political process, which is going to start from tomorrow. Now, as you mentioned, the acting president uh, saw in today and uh, the parliamentary speaker uh, said uh, he's going to convene the parliament tomorrow because according to the Sri Lanka's constitution uh, the par parliamentary act number two of 1981 which provide uh, provisions to elect new uh, president for Sri Lanka the when a president executive president resigned or uh, crippled or died then Within three days, Sri Lanka's parliament must convene. Then after that, uh, after convening, the parliament must uh, start its uh, selection process of a new president among the members of the, among the elected members of this current parliament. Now, this that is going to happen now. Uh, tomorrow, uh, 10 a.m., the parliament will convene and then uh, tomorrow they will uh, commence the proceedings of uh, the election. Then uh, the 19th uh, will be the key date that uh, the uh, voting, uh, most probably the voting will took place because now there are a number of consensus because uh, now uh, a couple of things, uh, protesters and uh, most of the religious and social leaders, they, they request uh, political parties to get together and uh, elect a national unity government with uh, making its leaders as president and prime minister without going for a party-based vote. But uh, sometimes now uh, the, the situation is a little bit changed now because uh, we saw some uh, uh, statements made by political parties, especially the, the uh, SLPP, the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna, led by former uh, uh, Rajpaksha uh, brothers. And uh, the, they mentioned that they are going to support uh, current 
uh, acting president, Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe, uh, in the parliament to uh, elect him as the president. Oh, At the right. same time, uh, another pardon me, Mr. Prasad. Uh, pardon me, Mr. Prasad. I need party. to cut in here because yeah. I'm not really sure uh, what you mean by political process anymore. You're saying that uh, protest leaders as well as uh, social groups, they want a non-party-based uh, election to go ahead and that leader to be then be president. But then yes. you've got some yes. parties saying, no, they're still yes. going with party-based elections. So what is going to happen? That's the first yes, question. The and the problem, second, and the yeah. second yes. question some is, is this process going to be giving the people someone they might actually be happy with as their president? One answer and really quickly, please. Yeah, that's the biggest question. That's the biggest question because now everybody, the, now the, the main motive of this political process is to find a, a lasting solution for the uh, ongoing economic crisis. However, uh, because that, that's why all the religious and uh, social and the protest uh, groups, uh, every every stakeholders in Sri Lankan uh, society, they want a non-party based, all party uh, government uh, should be established for a short time to find solutions for this crisis. Uh, so uh, that's the main request from the society. However, as you mentioned, uh, there, there's a big question because uh, still we can see some party motives, but we, we don't know. Uh, we have to wait till the parliament convene and the discussions uh, must go on. And then only we can jump into the conclusions uh, whether they are going to go for vote or anything like that. Because but now up to now, we can see two names have been uh, announced. Uh, the, the SLPP, the, the party which hold the majority in the parliament, which was led by Rajapaksas. Now, they have announced the name of uh, uh, Prime Minister, the, the, the acting president, Ranil Vikramasinghe, as the president candidate for the presidency. Now, uh, it's not still confirmed, uh, but uh, the news outlets in Sri Lankan news outlets, the, the, that was uh, mentioned. And uh, then uh, the Another member from the SLPP, Mr. Dallas Alahaprima, an independent group of the SLPP, because the party is now a little bit, there are some factions in that party. He also uh, mentioned that he is going to run for the presidency. So that, that's a little bit contrary to the will of the will and the request of the people in the country. So there is a big gap between the current developments and the aspirations of the activists. So uh, then, uh, as you said, uh, if we face such a situation, then there will be another um, disturbance will occur because, um, uh, the, we, because of the clashes of the aspirations. But still, we have to wait. We can't come into, uh, jump into conclusions because still the parliament must convene and uh, so the, uh, we have to let them to right. begin the process. Right. We'll, we All can right. then uh, observe Prasad. their motives. Uh, we're running out of time, but thanks so much for that. So if I could sum that up very quickly, a big gap between what should be and what actually is for now. That was Mr. Prasad Kaushalya Dodan Godaga from Sri Lanka's national broadcaster, Rupavahini Corporation.